yo, yo, everybody! Welcome back! We figured it out. I actually had to uh, do a little research on this. Uh, here, hold on. Uh, change clothes. Okay, now I'm back, and I will never go back to this cabin ever again. <laughs> oh, and save. Whoop. So, what had happened was apparently, you know, uh, the way... The way a lot of these games work back in the day, they relied on. Let me just check. Uh, they relied on. We good? Okay. Uh, they relied on computer cycles. So like uh, when your CPU, you know, will process so many instructions per whatever, right? Um, and it's that's the megahertz. It used to be megahertz, and I was like gigahertz, right? 1.8 gigahertz, 3.2 gigahertz, whatever. 1.21 gigawatts. Um, let's head over this way. We'll see what's over there. Um, and so what we needed to do, oh, <laughs> we needed to do something, um, within a certain period of time. And because computers are so much faster now, there was no time to like kind of wait around. So I'd had to reload from an old save and, uh, and just run through all the stuff we've done like really, really quick. The only thing I did different was I applied sunscreen when I got out of the pool and it gave me some extra bonus. So that's all, that's all I've done. We're back to normal. Uh, Good day, mister, says the barber. May I help you? Um, yes, talk to barber. I have no time for idle conversation. <laughs> responds, the, responds the barber. It's bad enough I have to talk to customers while I cut the hair, hair. <laughs> I certainly don't want to talk when I'm not cutting hair. Well, let's let's get a seat. Have a seat. Uh, sit. You walk over in front of the barber's chair and sit down. Now, why would it do that? Why would it let me? Why would it let me do that? Oh, look, look, chair. I, didn't I say sit? Sit. <clears throat> Is there anything you can do for this hairline of mine? You ask the barber. But of course, mister, says the barber. I got exactly what you need. Just have a seat in the chair, please. The chair. <laughs> What's he about to do? He took the mop off. Yes, I have exactly what you need, he tells you. It's all the rage. The rage. The latest thing. You'll see it everywhere these days. In fact, the guys make a lot of money with one of these. That's a little Asian at that point. I call it the Jimmy model, and I'm sure you would like it just fine. He places the Jimmy carefully on your head. <laughs> oh, Lord. Am I going <laughs> to... Impeccable fit, he cries. And for you, the price is right. Only $10,000. But I like to consider it more of an investment than an expense. 10K for a wig? <laughs> Oh, well, it's not not like it's your money. Why not let those suckers who paid for all those luck -o bucko tickets treat you to a new look? I'll take it, you tell them, and peel off a hundred hundreds from your rapidly depleting wad. Dude, yeah. Damn, I'm smooth. The barber bids you farewell with a sweet, have a nice day. <laughs> damn, damn, I'm smooth. Um, okay. Oh, you catch a good look at yourself in the mirror and slip the wig into your inner jacket pocket. You tell the barber, thanks a lot, but I think I would just save this until my cable channel application is approved. Perfect. Um, where have we not gone to? I think up here. Oh, oh. Nope. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Go up, up. There we go. Can you imagine if he made that noise every time he walked upstairs? Oh, oh hell, what we got here? Hmm. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, look. You have the distinct feeling that you should not be messing around on the bridge of a large ocean-going vessel. So far, the captain hasn't noticed you. Better keep it that way. Uh, oh, frigger. T-save. <laughs> T-save. Alright, so... 
Look, let's see. Uh, look, controls. There are many flashing dials, lights, video display, terminals, etc. Mostly they just confuse you. Alright, we're going to walk over here. Maybe he don't know about me. Look. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Look, controls. No. There's a... What is that thing, though? I can't tell what that is. T uh, touch control. The heck you say? Push button. <laughs> Pull lever. <laughs> oh! Silently, cautiously, so as not to attract the captain's attention, you move the large toggle switch to the start position. A faint ticking sound begins. Oh, who dat? Look out, Larry! He's firing a poison dart! <clears throat> oh, no! At least he missed you. However, the captain lies dying on the deck, and the shift is drifting helplessly on the high seas. Uh, oh. Uh, though your ineptitude... Oh, through your ineptitude, you've allowed the captain to be killed by a KGB poison dart. Unbeknown to the passengers and crew, the ship now charts its own course. A course, of course. That course is straight for the nearest reef. <laughs> Now charts is own of course, of course. <laughs> that is a course, unless the horse is famous, Mr. Ed. Perhaps you'll miss the reef and miss the grief. Save the ship and save the day. Perhaps you'll even escape safely. Why do I have a feeling that? Uh, ha, no way. You knew better than that. Uh, am I dead? Oh, man, am I going to hit every single thing that involves me dying? Okay. So let's not go that way. But I'm still going to pull that lever. Pull lever. I thought I was close enough there. Oh, 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 oh. Pull lever. What? There we go. Pull lever. Okay, now I'm, I'm getting the hell out this way. What have I missed? Can I go up here? Nope, nothing there. Um. Yeah, really, it feels like. Head on down. I wonder what that lever did. So we've gone to the bartender to pool. Um, hmm. We know we don't go not go back to the room. I guess let's go check out the lifeboat again, just in case that thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Click 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 click. Uh huh. Oh. Look, the ship has come to a standstill in the water. They must be preparing for the lifeboat drill. You better not leave this area. Oh, pecker. All right. Um, preparing for the lifeboat. Look, lifeboat. Uh-huh. Chain preventing you from falling over the side of the ship. Enter lifeboat. You're not close enough. Okay, I'm there. Enter lifeboat and and a two and a three and a, whoa <laughs> the lifeboat drill has brought has brought the ship to a standstill what have you done Larry I don't know now what a siren wails a warning cry and the lifeboat begins to shake you made it to the lifeboat in the nick of time I did it! Now what? And there I am. And off I go. <laughs> Slowly you drift away from the cruise ship. You wonder what you forgot to pack. Oh, I hope I didn't pack, forget to pack anything. Now this is one of those where, like, you save in another save file. For sure. But off I go. In the slowest way imaginable. I guess I could hit. No, nope, even that doesn't help. <laughs> go forth, my young man. Off into the. Oh, here I am. And. As a good ship USS Love Tug 
uh, love tub, love tug. <laughs> That's a whole other type of ship. Uh, slowly sinks behind the horizon. We rejoin our noble hero in his latest predicament. Look, oh no, can't do anything. Oh, am I gonna die? Is this death, death job, death jam, death jam? Ugh. Am I, am I a dead man? Oh, my dead man. It won't let me do nothing. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Isn't it funny how time flies when you're having fun? Uh, day one. Oh, Packer. Day two. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going. I bet. Day four. Holy crap. How long is this going to last? Boy, is that sun hot. It's a good thing you use that sunscreen to block those ultraviolets. Oh. Ha ha. See? Because I used the sunscreen. I am clever. You think the sun must be even hotter today. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. The tropical sun has turned your balded brain into an omelet cooked until sunny side soft Larry. Well, that's a death, isn't it? Death job. I guess I need to put the wig on. Better luck next cruise, Larry. Oh, man. Has there ever been a game with more deaths Death and destructions that if you've ever seen in your whole life. Okay, so let's go up here. Pull lever. Oh, T pull. <laughs> Damn, I'm never gonna stop doing that. All right, we're gonna go, and we're gonna make mad rush. And okay. Oh no, 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 not there. <laughs> I I'm going to go up, 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 up. Oh no, down, 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 over. Okay, we're here. What's it gonna say? Preparing. Better not leave the area. Use wig. Not now. Uh, why not? Enter. No, use wig. Use wig. Not now. Enter. Oh, save. Huh? Save. Good boy. Save. Enter lifeboat. Maybe you do it right after I enter the lifeboat. And, and a one, and a two. This guy. And, and, in. Okay, now. What have you done, Larry? I can't, I cannot type anything yet. Uh-huh. We know all about this yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Still can't type in anything. Oh, oh, wear wig. Good idea. This would be the perfect time. Boom, ba boom, 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 ba boom, ba boom, boom. Now, can I? Oh, slowly you drift away. You forgot what you. Oh, oh, come on now. Uh, change. Fast, 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 fast. Okay. Look at these blazing speeds. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Latest predicament. I kind of look like uh, Andy Griffith. Little Matlock. Mm -hmm. Time flies when you're not having fun. Can I type anything? Nope, can't type anything. Mm-hmm. Let's see how far I make it this time. Day three. Mm-hmm. Oh, doing good. Boy, is that sun hot? Uh-huh, use sunscreen. Survive that one. Oh, I understand. Must be even hotter today. Good thing you wore that silly wig. Sun out here is hot enough to fry your brains. We survived. What next? What are you going to throw on me next? Your thirst becomes more and more intense every passing day. Visions of pre-classic coke float before your eyes. You extract the grotesque gulp from your inside coat pocket and are surprised to discover it's retained its entire 32 gallon capacity. You now have enough fluid to last you for weeks, but you're worried about your blood sugar. Way back then, can you imagine if you didn't get that gulp? Your hunger grows intense with the passing of days. Visions of Danny's Pizza float before your eyes. 
It's a good thing you brought along that spinach dip. Oh, uh, no, I have fruit, dummy. Unfortunately for you, the mayonnaise is spoiled in the hot tropical sun. Death job. Game full of deaths. Better luck next. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Restore from that. Restore. Okay. Enter lifeboat. <laughs> I know this is such an annoying pain in the ass, but this is how these games ran, man. Boy, and if you didn't save, forget about it. Okay, let's get, let's get down. Uh huh. And okay. As soon as I get on, <clears throat> wear wig. Um, throw dip. Oh, throw, throw dip. You toss the spinach dip as far over the ocean as you can, which is not really that far. Okay. Change. Fast. Okay. Surely this... Oh, wonder what you forgot to pack. Who knows? Surely we've done it now. I'm hoping. Okay. Back on the cruise. <clears throat> or back on the little, little boat. Gonna run on through. Running on through. Mm-hmm. Funny how time flies when you're not having fun. Okay, here it, here it is. Mm-hmm. Day two. Day three. Day four. All. Oh. Boy, is that sun hot? We passed this one. We know all about it. Sunscreen, good job. <clears throat> uh huh. We got the got the wig. Good job. We've ranked kumquat. Hey, didn't we rank that before? Uh huh. We got the grotesque gulp. I think it's just like ranking through different things. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, you cleverly open the sewing kit you stole from Mother's nightstand. Extract a safety pin and thread. You patiently fish for hours, but eventually catch your limit. Your limit for raw fish is quite low. Oh, I thought I'd eat fruit. Don't I have fruit? Why would I not eat fruit? Oh, that's the weirdest thing. All right. Well, day 10. During a particularly rough storm, late in your 10th night at sea, your lifeboat crashes on a coral reef and shatters to bits. You grab the largest piece of wood you can, hold on tight, and survive the storm. The dawn finds you crashing through an offshore reef, tumbling through the surf to a gorgeous beach. <clears throat> hey, Larry, that's you out, out there in the surf. Land ho, you cry. Okay. <laughs> that's great. Okay, I'm going to go change normal. Okay. <clears throat> oh, good. Here comes someone to help you. <laughs> How dare you, sir? How dare you? Congratulations, Larry. You survived weeks adrift on the high seas with nothing but your courage, perseverance, and a few humble provisions. Endured tropical storms, vicious winds, and high seas in just a tiny lifeboat. Prevailed over the surf, offshore barrier reef, and razor sharp coral. Escaped the dangerous mother. Avoided the vicious KGB and the tempting enticements of the evil Dr. No Nookie's henchette hordes and withstood that creep's audacious humor. And you're still good as new. But boy, is your suit a mess. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, just <laughs> shake it off. <laughs> Don't you just love a good polyester? <laughs> but now you wonder, where am I? And what possessions survived your disastrous journey? Oh. Inventory. Wadado Passport Onklonk Bikini Top. That is it, huh? Okay, well, we've made it to some kind of uh, tropical beach. Have no idea. I do see some umbrellas, so there is some civilization around somewhere. But I am going to end it right here. Figure it's a good spot as any. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.